Hi, it's Maya here with my October book haul. Now, for some reason, I have managed to acquire 19 books in October. You might know that I normally do seasonal book hauls, since I tend to acquire about three books per month. So now, for some reason, in October, I have acquired as much books as I usually do in half a year. So that happened. Out of those 19 books, seven were free, so that's great. I bought three at full price, I bought three from different sales, and I bought six used. So the first book that I bought was from a Kindle sale, and that was The Ladies of Mandrigan by Barbara Hambly. This is the first book in the Sun, Wolf and Star Hawk series. It's a fantasy series, and I had been keeping my eye out for books by Barbara Hambly ever since Scott Lynch mentioned her in the high fantasy panel at Worldcon 2017. He mentioned her as an underappreciated fantasy author and Robin Hobb was sitting next to him like nodding along. So I knew I had to try out something from Barbara Hambly. And I found this one from the sale. Like I said, this is the first in a series and it tells about a mercenary captain who is a man called Sun Wolf and his first lieutenant, a woman called Star Hawk. And in this one, they are hired by the ladies of Mandrigan. Then I was feeling this drive to buy new books and I gave myself a budget of 20 euros to spend and the first thing that I bought with that was the comic By Chance or Providence by Becky Cloonan. So this collects Becky Cloonan's award-winning trilogy Wolves, The Meyer and Demeter. Those three she first self-published herself and this is a collected edition published by Image. I don't specifically know what this is about, I only know that I love Becky Cloonan's art, but the adjectives at the back are something like beautiful, haunting and mysterious, so it sounds good. And then with the rest of the money I picked up two novellas. The first was a Tour.com novella, Martha Wellsy's All Systems Red, the first book in the Murderbot Diaries. So this is set in a future where all planetary expeditions have to have a security bot with them. And this I think is told from the point of view of the security bot who hates humans and calls himself to Murderbot, and just to himself, not out loud. The second ebook novella that I picked up was The Serpent by Claire North. This is quite a mysterious novella, I don't know a lot about it. It has just been recommended to me a lot. And this, I think, is set in 17th century Venice in this mysterious establishment called the Games House. And it is speculative fiction, and that's all I know about it. In case I didn't say, that is the first one in the Games House trilogy of novellas. So, I had spent my budget and I was still feeling the craving to buy books. So what I decided to do was go through Project Gutenberg and the Kindle store and look for classics that I wanted to read that are available for free since they are out of copyright and I picked up a few of those classics. The first was The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, which is a Sherlock Holmes novel that I have read once previously but I can't remember much about it and I'm reading the Sherlock Holmes book in order slowly so this is the next one and I picked it up. I had also just seen Libby from Libby Stevenson read Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw which is the play that My Fair Lady, the movie, is based on. And I felt the craving to read that too, so I picked it up. The next book from my TBR that I found that was available for free was The Enchanted April by Elizabeth von Arnim, which came to my attention when Yamini from The Skeptical Reader read it. And this is about four, I think, English ladies who rent a castle in Italy. And the final classic that I picked up was Queen Margot or Marguerite de Valois by Alexandre Dumas, since I love Dumas and I want to read more of his works. While I was browsing in the Kindle store for those free classics, I also noticed the first book in a fantasy series that was available for free. This is Lindsay Broker's The Emperor's Edge. It is the first in the Emperor's Edge series. I don't know what this is about at all. I know that I think Elizabeth from Books and Pieces has read Lindsay Baroker's science fiction series, so I wanted to try her out. Let's just quickly go and look at Goodreads. It seems to be a steampunkish fantasy series about an imperial law enforcer who is sent to capture the Empire's most notorious assassin. So after that, it happened that Comixology had a sale of Oni Press titles and I really enjoy Oni Press. So I gave myself a budget again, this time for 10 euros, since most of the comics on sale were about 5 euros per volume, and told myself I could pick up two comics. The first that I picked up was Lucky Penny by Anath Hirsch and Yuko Ota, and this is a graphic novel about a girl called Penny who loses her job and her apartment in one day, and she is now living in her friend's storage locker, I think, and gets a new job at a laundromat. 
I haven't read this one yet, but I think it was Amanda from Amanda Eggle who really liked this one. And the second comic that I picked up was Space Battle Lunchtime Volume 1 Lights, Camera, Snaction by Natalie Rees. I have read this one already and it is about this human pastry chef or baker who gets transported into space, into this intergalactic cooking show competition. And I had to use all of my willpower when I learned that this was a miniseries, so there are only two volumes. And I didn't go and pick up the second volume as well, even though it was also on sale. But I will pick it up at some point, it was quite fun. My boyfriend had to go and pick up some card sleeves at this role-playing game slash comic shop. So while we were there, he also picked up for me the second volume of The Girl from the Other Side by Nagabe. So this is a manga series about this monster or outsider called the teacher who is looking after this little girl called Shiva. Then I went home to visit my parents and my siblings and while we were there we went to a charity shop and I picked up Lois McMaster Bujold's Cordelia's Honor, which I was really glad to find there. This was only about one euro and I didn't have coins with me, so I got coins from my sister and my father to buy this. So basically this was for free. So this is part of the Vorkosigan saga. I think this is a good place to start since it tells about the mother of the hero. It is about the first book in the inner chronological order. And this combines two books, uh, Shards of Honor and Barayar, which are the two books that tell about Cordelia. Then, finally, at the end of the month, there was the Helsinki Book Fair, and of course I had to go there. I really enjoyed going through the used book section, so they had one section all for used bookstores and another for publishers and bookstores. So, of course, I just headed to the used bookstore side first and went and found a used bookstore that had a big shelf of science fiction and fantasy in English, and I picked up six paperbacks. These were about 3 euros each, so they weren't that expensive. The first thing that I found there was Sherry S. Tepper's Beauty. This is her Sleeping Beauty retelling. I think it has a couple of fairy tales that it mixes there. I haven't read anything from Tepper before, but I knew that I wanted to pick it, this one up since it is a fairy tale retelling and since it is told in a journal. So this is the Journal of Beauty, Daughter of the Duke of Westfair, and I love books that I've written as journals. My Life in Westfair, St. Richard of Chichester's Day, April, Year of Our Lord, 1347. Then the one mistake that you have to do each time you pick up more than one used books is that you pick up a second in a series. I picked up The Signet and the Firebird by Patricia A. McKillip because I was so glad to find a McKillip book and I am used to most of her books being standalones. She has the Riddle Master series and one or two duologies and this is one of the duologies and it is the second book. I think our library actually has the first book, so I was lucky there. Third book that I picked up there was Ilmet in Lankmar by Fritz Leiber. This is the first and second of his The Adventures of Farford and the Grey Mouser novels. This has two books in them, Swords and Deviltry and Swords Against Death, and I have read the first book already, but I picked this one up to read the second book. This is a Sword and Sorcery series. I also picked up an urban fantasy, Magic Bites by Ilona Andrews, the first in the Kate Daniels series. I don't know much about this one, but I have heard good things. The final speculative fiction book that I picked up was Sunshine by Robin McKinley, which is her vampire book. I don't know more about it than it is about vampires, and also Kelsey from The Fancy Hat Lady recommended this one to me when I didn't like the one other book that I read from McKinley, which was, which was The Blue Sword. I wasn't a big fan of that, but I want to try her vampire stuff and also some of her fairy tale retelling stuff, which I don't have yet. There's like a Neil Gaiman blurb that says this is the unlikely crossroads of Chocolat, Interview with the Vampire, Misery and the Tale of Beauty and the Beast. Then the final thing in this haul is a mystery book. This is Agatha Christie's Death in the Clouds, which is the next Poirot book that I need to read when I'm reading the Poirot books in order. And my library didn't actually have this one in English, so I was so happy to find this one at the used bookstore. So this pile is all the physical books that I picked up in October. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of these or if you want to read any of them. Let's talk more there. I now have to put this stack down. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.